the latest twist in a saga that has gripped France. News that the sexual assault case against Dominique Strauss-Kahn may be about to collapse. Already, politicians are speculating about a comeback for the man known here as DSK. Of course, we need to ask ourselves about the developments of this judicial affair as it's not over yet. Also, in the event that Dominic were to be cleared of all of the charges, which I ardently hope, of course, it would first be up to him to decide after such a personal shock, and then it will be up to the socialists' leaders to decide. It's not for me to say. Before his arrest, Strauss-Kahn had been the front-runner to challenge Nicolas Sarkozy in presidential elections next year. The court case appeared to end those hopes, but now everything could change. It would be a real reversal of fortune if Dominique Strauss-Kahn were able to clear his name and return to France as a contender in the elections. For the moment, that looks a little far-fetched, but it's a scenario that is being discussed in socialist party circles. The race to become the socialist party candidate has already begun. This was the party leader, Martine Aubry, declaring her candidacy earlier this week. A return by DSK would shake up the contest. I would like to say that the news we got from the American press gives me great joy. Like all those who are close to Dominique, I hope from the bottom of my heart that the American justice system will establish the whole truth and allow Dominique to get out of this nightmare. Many French people believed from the start that Strauss-Kahn had been set up. Others, particularly women, felt it was high time to expose politicians and their sexual misdemeanors. Maybe he lied or maybe he, he didn't, but I think that for that reason he cannot come back to politics. It's not possible. This story has been made up for him not to be president. That's what I think. For now, all of this remains speculation. And the fate of Dominique Strauss-Kahn, at least for the coming weeks, lies in the hands of a court in New York. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, Paris.